Continents drift around on the world about as fast as your fingernails grow. And here are some maps showing the history for the last 620 million years. This is from the great Chris Scotis working with the Paleo Map Project and archived by the United States Geological Survey for educational use. The color scheme, North America yellow, for example, with the orange star for University Park, will be the same in each map. But you'll have to look south to find University Park. It was way down there 620 million years ago. And then we will drift it forward in 30 or 40 million year steps, shown in the upper left. Sometimes there wasn't a lot of motion. Sometimes there was a little more. Sometimes there was a lot. Sometimes it's more spinning than moving somewhere. At this point, we'll stop for a moment out there to what was then south of the Pennsylvania coast and other parts of the edge of North America is the Proto-Atlantic Ocean, sometimes called the Iapetus Ocean. And so you would have looked out from Pennsylvania towards the, the sea, but it was to the south. If you are a fan of Arthurian legend, you've heard of Avalon or Avalonia. Uh, I have shown you the Avalonia microcontinent here. It was a volcanic island arc, and the big volcanoes spewed out ash that sometimes blew all the way into central Pennsylvania, and you can find those ashes in the road cut very close to University Park. After that, Avalonia drifted in. Part of it you will see colliding what, with what has become Europe in red there on the right, and part of it colliding with what became North America on the left, raising mountains that are now part of the Appalachians. So there it has docked and had a collision. Other collisions coming. The great abduction is coming. And so we have assembled all the pieces of continent into sort of one big blob. We've had collisions, we've raised great mountain ranges like the Appalachians that University Park is in, the Atlas there in Africa that's ramming into us. And this mass, this supercontinent of all the land masses, is often called Pangaea, or all land, um, with the Appalachians and University Park stuck in the middle. The Appalachians were a big mountain range. They were hot in the middle. If you make a big pile of mountains that are hot in the middle, soon they start to spread. For Death Valley type rifts and then a new ocean basin, the Atlantic, and they spread and spread and spread and there we are today. There was drifting before 620 million years ago that we didn't show you, but it was happening. There will be drifting in our future as we go forward.